a lesson that I that I do um, that involves um, having having students write about their community, and um, so I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. That you could take a historical event and you could you could find um, you could find poetry um, that that relates to history, and um, and what wh what I always do is is just emphasize the use of metaphor, which is the, the, the foundation of, 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 of a poem. You know, if you can't visualize, if you can't, um, you know, and this, this Sandra Maria Estevez, I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with her work, but when I first started teaching poetry, you know, I mean, what I was learning in the classroom, it, it's very different once you start, once you're in the classroom, um, going from a teaching program and then all of a sudden being with, you know, a bunch of kids. So um, when I first started uh, teaching poetry, I was really at a loss. And so um, what I learned in NYU didn't really help me as much as c connecting with other poets and other teaching artists who had been doing it. And one of the things that she uh, shared with me, one of her, her tricks, was to um, uh, to uh, work with I don't know what are, these are flowcharts right I mean I don't know and um, relate you know metaphor you know to your students and depending on what age you know I don't know I mean maybe there what what's the primary age that you work with high school or um, high school and middle school high school and middle school so it doesn't really you know whether it's high school or middle school it doesn't really matter. But um, <coughs> you know, um, if um, if you if you could be uh, a body of water, you know what kind what kind of body what what just call out like you know whatever inspires you anything from as small as a teardrop to as big as a lake, lake. ocean ocean a lake right lake. Teardrop. Waterfall. Oh, waterfall. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay. And then we have colors, okay? Because, I mean, what would a poem be without colors? So, what are your favorite colors? I love pink. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Okay. Now, what kind of green? Like vomit green? Like what kind of green? Like vomit green or no, like? That's <laughs> what, what do you like? Forest green. Forest green. Forest green. Okay, and you know I'm just kidding, right? About the vomit green. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have green. We have forest green. You know, I always use sense of humor when you know dealing with kids. Okay. So, uh, oh, creatures of flight. My favorite, absolute favorite, of course, are butterflies. <laughs> now, what about yours? Bats. Bats. Oh, I love bats. And does anybody have uh, uh, work with uh, bilingual uh, students? You do. Some do. Yeah. So, oh my God, I love. How do you spell it again? R C. Did I spell it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> After the E. Anyway, there's an accent. There's an accent. No. There's an R right here. Uh, Mur, 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 oh, Mur, yeah. Mur, And where's the accent? The A doesn't go there. You don't have the A, but oh, the yeah. A doesn't go no, there. No, no, no. It doesn't go there, okay. Uh -huh. And then there's an accent here. Mur, 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 Anyway, I love that word. Okay. <laughs> My very first trip to Puerto Rico, that was one of the first words that I learned, so I love that word. Okay, so what other creatures of flight? Fireflies. Fireflies. So you get the idea. So you, you know, you just, then the exercise in metaphor is, you know, um, to do an I am exercise. So, you know, I am a, and can make combinations, you know, a pink, but of course you have your students do it, you know, waterfall, as a way to do an exercise with them so that they get really, really playful and creative and imaginative with metaphor and I'm, I have found that the younger one the younger students junior high school they're they're less inhib inhibited you know 
Um, but but once you just like give them a little push, a little spark, the high school students will they'll they'll love this. Um, they'll go crazy with this.